Assalamu alaikum in today's video we are looking at another brilliant game of Mikhail Tal which he won in just 23 moves Mikhail Tal was playing against Hungarian grandmaster Gideon Bagza and Mikhail Tal was playing as a black and his opponent was playing as a white so he started the game with knight to f3 g6 g3 bishop to g7 bishop to g2 d6 d3 e5 e4 knight to c6 knight to c3 and now knight g to e7 bishop to e3 the simple plan of playing bishop to e3 is that on the next move white will play queen to d2 and on the next move he will play bishop to h6 and try to exchange the dark square bishop with the black and once the dark square bishop get exchanged it's easier for the white uh, to attack the mikhail tal king so mikhail tal simply played a short castle in this position queen to d2 going with the plan and now knight to d4 placing the knight on one of best and most active square and here white played a knight to e2 which is a blunder well if you guys want to find out why this is blunder stop this video and try to find it but mikhail tal find it and he played bishop to h3 it's very simple uh, you cannot capture back this bishop because of knight captures on h3 and your queen will be gone so in this position computer is suggesting that white should castle uh, but in this position mikhail tal would play knight captures on h3 f3 and after bishop captures on h3 bishop captures on f1 king captures on f1 and mikhail tal would be up in the exchange so that's why white played uh, knight f captures on d4 in this position but this is another big mistake why because mikhail tal is winning a piece in this position mikhail tal found the continuation and he played bishop captures on g2 attacking the rook so rook to g1 so now e captures on d4 and the plan is simple if you capture our bishop we will play d captures on e3 so white played knight captures on d4 but now c5 again attacking the knight knight goes to b5 bishop to f3 and mikhail tal saved his bishop on this f3 square so g4 with the help of g4 white is trying to trap this bishop so mikhail tal played the simple and obvious move d4 opening the center for his bishop to escape bishop captures on c5 rook to c8 attacks the bishop so bishop goes to a3 d captures on e4 d captures on e4 white is offering a queen exchange but mikhail tal denied it with the queen to b6 and now his opponent played bishop captures on e7 queen captures on b5 and now mikhail tal has given away his rook for the bishop but why let's see in the game bishop captures on f8 and queen captures on b2 mikhail tal first attack the rook so bishop captures on g7 and now it's forced to play king captures on g7 in the first turn moves of the game mikhail tal was up a piece and now it's 20th move and mikhail tal is down in exchange but why it's very famous in chess that it does not matter how many pieces you have the only thing that matter is with how many pieces you are playing and if we look at the attack of mikhail tal right now it does not matter uh, white is up in the material or not so white played in this position rook to c1 saving his rook and now mikhail tal played rook to d8 offering this simple rook exchange uh, well it's not that simple because if white captures on d8 uh, then queen captures on c1 and now it's forced to play queen to d1 and after queen captures on d1 this is checkmate uh, so white cannot capture this rook uh, the best move that computer is suggesting is that white should play rook to g3 and after rook captures on d2 king captures on d2 uh, white can continue the game obviously black is winning with the huge material advantage but white would have a chance to create some gameplay uh, but white in this position played queen to e3 which is another big mistake and now it's checkmate by force in five moves mikhail tal sacrificed his queen with the queen captures on c2 and it's very simple you cannot capture it because of rook to d1 checkmate that's why in this position white played king to f1 trying to run away but mikhail tal played rook to d1 check and at this position white resigned and now white has only two options the first one is to play queen to e1 but now queen to e2 is a checkmate and let's say you play rook captures on d1 but now queen captures on d1 check queen to e1 queen to d3 check queen to e2 and now queen captures on e2 is a checkmate so that's why white resigned after rook to d1 check move so i hope you like this brilliant and short game of mikhail tal and if you like it please like this video subscribe to this channel to get more amazing and inspiring content